Hello everybody, my name is Jad, welcome to another MLB 9 Innings 22 video. In today's video, we've got a lot of big things to go through today. We've got ourselves historic player packs, we've got a team select SIG, we've got uh, an overall amp ticket, and also we're going to see if we have enough to use black diamond pieces on. So, with that being said, the very first thing that we're doing today is we're going to go take a visit to the past... So I recorded it on the day that the Historic Players came out because I did not want to wait to see if I could pull anything. So we're going to go back in time, and I've been holding on to this player for a while. So I've been holding on to these uh, results for a while. So let's go back and let's go take a look at the Historic Player Pack. Okay, everybody. Welcome to the Historic Player Pack. So I purchased four player packs because I did not feel like spending $500 today. So I think that what I will do in the next coming weeks is I will gradually purchase more of them. I think maybe two a week or something like that, basically, until the, the sale period basically ends. So we're going to try to see if we can finally pull this Ruth card. I say finally, I mean, I don't know. We'll see what we can pull. I don't know. Um, I would take a regular SIG. I would take a, one of the two Yankee uh, Supreme cards. I'd take one of those. Um, so without any further nonsense here, let's do it. I'm real nervous, man. I don't know what to expect here. I'm, I'm extremely nervous because right now, before you open them, there's like unlimited possibilities. But then once you open them, that's it. The possibilities are gone. Okay, like that's what I'm thinking here. So let's do it. Use all. Open up four of these packs. I don't know what that means. Is that a SIG or is that a Supreme card? I don't know. Oh, no! <laughs> what? Dude, I got the Mickey Mantle SIG! Oh, hey, dude! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, my God. Well, that's a new player for me. It's not a Supreme, but I'll take it. Oh, man, dude. Sick! Oh. <laughs> What's the chat gonna say? <laughs> I got two Babe Ruths as well. There's two Babe Ruths and a Mickey Mantle. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, it's not a not a Supreme, but hopefully we'll see one in the coming future. That Mantle Sig is going to be crazy. Oh, sick, dude. Somebody posted on Reddit that it's not actually Mickey Mantle's picture in there. It's actually an actor's picture of Mickey Mantle. It's not really him, which is really a funny detail. Okay, well, that being said, uh, uh, we'll go cut back to the rest of the video now, so that way we can continue. I just didn't want to wait until Sunday to open this pack up. Anyway, peace, guys. All right, everybody. So, I mean, it was the craziest thing that I've I've pulled in a while. And, I mean, I guess it wasn't as crazy as, as what I thought it was. I mean, like, it's a great card. But, um, I mean, thinking about it in terms of odds, it wasn't that rare, but I just really like that I got it. Like, I'm really happy that I got it. So, anyway, with that being said, let's continue on. We're going to do our daily pack first, and then um, I'll show you guys what I did. I trained him up already. He's done trained up already, and um, I GI'd him already. So, I did that because I got, um, my, because my, my club mates tried to, like, they forced me to do it. So, I, I'm sorry. So, I trained him up. He's in my lineup, and here he is. This might be the craziest batter training that I've ever hit in the history of ever. Like, it, he has <laughs> plus four fielding, uh, plus four speed and plus two fielding. So it's plus six on the right side. Might be one of the craziest trains I've ever seen. Um, 16, 19, 16. So he does have one, he's a little bit more towards power. So what we're going to do now is we're going to see if we can uh, spec train him real quick. And we're going to go black diamond him. He's actually already spec trained him, sorry. I meant to say black diamond train him. Um, we're going to take in a black diamond. Then we're going to open up the team select SIG. And then we've got some premiums to run on uh, him. I still don't know what I want to do with my normal skill changes yet. If I'm going for a black diamond skill on him, I might as well just not use regular skill changes on him. I think would be the best thing, I, I think. And then just use the regular skill changes on Starlin Castro, who desperately needs to get skills. And the hope is the team select SIG will be able to replace my first base slot. Although, that being said, if I do get a better first baseman, such as, I mean, better second baseman, like if I got if I got a DJ LeMayu card or if I got a Robinson Cano card, because Robinson Cano is back in the game now, 
if I got him as a second base card, I'd probably want to work on him instead of using them on Castro. Um, that being said, if I was to be honest, I want a first baseman. I, I really want Voight very badly. However, I could really live with any three of the first baseman cards, the three first baseman cards being... Uh, in order of desirability, would probably be number one, Luke Voigt. Number two would be Tino Martinez. And then number three would be Anthony Rizzo. I'm pretty sure that Tino does have better batting stats than Rizzo, but I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure Tino does. I'm just not 100% sure. But I think that's what I would live with. Um, any kind of dupe, any kind of car. Like, if I got a bad second baseman, for instance, like I was talking about how if I got a second baseman, I'd probably run with it. But if I get like a... Um, uh, I, there's like two second baseman vintages that we have, and both of them are are like hot garbage compared to anything else there is. I'd probably would I would probably throw them in the, the dupe machine um, with a Andrew Miller card that I've been holding on to for a long time. Brett Garner's still hanging out on my bench. I mean, I don't really want to get rid of him just yet. I mean, it'd be nice to have him because um, just have a bench sig eventually one day just to make my team look pretty. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm only going to combo away dupes, but if I get a card that has absolutely zero chance of starting... Uh, I'd probably want to hold on to um, use that on the dupe machine for the club craft. And then at that point, that's not pitcher, batter, select. So at that point, we're just really throwing caution to the wind. And we're just going to kind of hope that we get something interesting. And then um, we'll go from there. I mean, there's nothing else we can really do about it, right? So there's Mickey Mantle. His picture still looks weird to me. Remember when this came out, his picture was wrong. But his picture looks a lot better now. That's pretty sick. Oh, yeah beautiful i want to see his stats right now real quick i want to see this stats. look at this card oh yeah oh man oh baby looks so good i can't wait to get him in so the plan for him is probably going to be to dh gary i mean to uh use gary as a catcher and then dh mantle and then if i pull ruth at some point down the road ruth will probably have to go in for like giancarlo or something like that because uh, i mean he's just too good to to keep out of the lineup and uh, the Yankee outfield is stacked, so it's pretty difficult to uh, try to find room for him in that outfield. Anyway, let's go. He's over here. It's kind of uh, what am I doing here? Uh, they they made they move this menu around. There it is. Spec training. Okay, we're gonna throw the material I've got in here now in there, and then we're gonna open up some packs. Gotta use up all my Spectrain material. I used up a lot of Spectrain material to get him up to full Spectrain, so I didn't use any of the packs. I had enough I had enough material saved up from my farming of League Mode that I could just get him fully maxed out. You know, nice and easy. So we'll see how far this goes. Uh, there was actually a very weird thing that happened to me this week, which was the fact that I, I have like 70 premium packs, which is, I believe, a side effect of getting the historic player packs, because the historic player packs would give you like 10 uh, premium packs with the purchase, so I have about 70 premium packs, but I only have about 15 silver packs. It's a very, very weird thing. Think about it. I got about 35 premiums, but I only got 15 silver packs. It was very weird. I can't explain it. I don't understand it. It's super weird. But, yeah. Very weird to me. So, uh, I just want to use up this material spec him and see where we go. The next one will be the stat increases. So, he'll be 163 power, 140. Oh, that was it already. 149. Okay. Nice. That's so nice looking. My goodness. Beautiful. And then after this, we'll open up the team select SIGs. I also bought a few extra roster expansions because in the past we've been having so many issues with filling the roster out. It's just it's heinous. So I've been having so many problems with running out of roster space. I opened up a couple more of the roster spaces. I think I bought about three of them. Or I bought two. Uh, I bought four of them, I think, because they both increased by five. I believe it is. I could be wrong. Let me see. Uh, I think it's five. Almost oh, by 10. Okay, so I bought two of them. Let's get me to 176. Spent about 1,000 stars on that. So, got that all sorted out. I'm going to be holding on to this pack, by the way. For anybody who was curious, I'm going to be holding on to that pack until later on in the season because I want to see where live players go. Maybe it'll be nice to pick up uh, a future long reliever or middle relief pitcher in the meantime uh, while I, I work on that. But that's the plan. So, let's open up our team select SIG and let's see what we get. Remember, we're looking for a first baseman. 
going batter, looking for a first baseman, or like a cool looking second baseman would be pretty awesome too. It's a silver. I'm nervous suddenly. All of a sudden, my heart rate has jumped up, and I can feel it in my chest. I can feel my heart pumping. So I'm praying that it's going to be a first baseman. If it's a first baseman, this is the best video we've ever had. If not, we'll see what we get. Okay, so batter. I'm going to put the phone down, and I'm I'm, I'm wheeling the chair out. So just in case I get caught on my chair, let me move some things around. Here we go. Oh, Robinson Cano! Okay, that's good. We take that. That is the upgrade at second base that I was hoping for. So that's a new project card for us. It's not a first baseman, but I will take it. I will take it. It's a non-dupe. Uh, it is it is an upgrade over Castro, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that upgrade. Woo! That's going to be a good sig. And he's just back in the game now, so that's, that's pretty good, man. It's not a first baseman yet, but we're getting there. We're slowly getting there. So now I have to go buy the GI ticket. I did not buy the GI ticket yet because I was not sure if I was going to need it, and now I need it. Okay, so with that being said, let us proceed. So, like, that's, like, that's in the meh tier. For anybody who's used the nine innings spreadsheet, not, not nine innings spreadsheet, the nine in that means I have to drop the Cano Prime on my bench now. Man, I like the Cano Prime on my bench. That's a waste of GI. Oh, well. I like the Cano Prime on bench. This this Prime is so cool. We spent so long going for it. Eh, it's okay. Anywho. So let's go and throw some Spectrum material at Mr. Mantle. Open up some packs here. Hope for some, some more future luck. That's pretty good, dude. I'm not going to lie. That was pretty sick. And I mentioned it by name, too. So, I mean, we've had some good luck. That's another non-dupe out there. Every every person in my club right now is probably punching the air right now. It's just like, oh, those Yankee decks who never pull dupes. That's just how it works, man. I'm sorry. I've had some good luck pulling players in terms of avoiding dupes. And I've played the odds well as well. I've I've played the odds in in a very good favor in terms of I've gone pitcher when the pitcher odds were were better and then left batter odds to later. So everyone out there who's punching air is probably furious right now. I know there's a couple people who when I post that they're gonna be like, really, you <laughs> another non dupe dude? The potential upgrade again? Yeah, it's 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 a good card. It's an upgrade to second base for sure. Still not the DJ LeMayu card I wish I had. However, I will take it 100%. So let's go spec train my guy here. I know there's no diamond level 7 skill game. I, I got it. Don't worry. I'm paying attention. I got it. All over it. All right. So it's also not a Ruth. It's also not another Mantle. Some people were like, you're going to pull Mantle from the, from the pack. And I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. You're you're probably right. I will I will probably pull a dupe mantle. That'd be really funny. But um no. It's my opinion right now that these cards have a higher drop rate. Like I don't know why, but it's just my theory that I've been seeing people people pull them off of so many random combos. I've been seeing people not get them so much from the historic pack, but people are like, Oh, I just random sig combo and I I got a Babe Ruth pitcher card or I just Happened to pull a mantle card, and I'm like, that's really weird, considering the fact that it's just like basically the same odds as pulling one year of any other sig. That's very funny that you got exactly that one card, and it happened multiple times. So I don't think it's coincidence. I think it's just that right now these cards have a higher drop rate in terms of getting them from a regular sig pack. So if you're pulling reg sig packs now, now is a good time for you if you want to go get these non team cards. And yeah, so let's see what happens with it. Heck of a heck of a sig change option. If you saved your sig change until now, heck of a sig change option for you if you're a Yankee deck. Although I feel that you would probably be able to pull them anyway from a from a pack without much difficulty. There's a Luis Severino card. I'm gonna hold on to him. I want to track his stats throughout the year. So we're doing the same thing we did last year. Very weird this year. I noticed this the other day. I also have a Joey Gallo card, too. I'm going to save that as well. I noticed this. Um, thank you. I'm, I appreciate Snapchat for you telling me that my buddy sent uh, a story. I appreciate that. That's really helpful. 
it, it's it always does this, especially at this early in the morning. I don't know why, but Snapchat tells me I have a notification at like three in the morning. I'm like, I, I don't, I don't really care right now. <laughs> Tell me later. But I, I feel like that you'll get it quickly either way, even if you didn't want to use this exchange ticket, because I feel like the odds are higher than normal to pull them. I can't prove this. I can't give you any analytical evidence. All I can give you is anecdotal evidence that I've been seeing a lot of people pull those cards. So, let's pull the silvers. Oh, having all this roster space is life-changing. It is incredible. Give me a prime or something, too, man. Please, I'm begging you. On my knees begging, please. Or don't. We've got space to pull team selects. So, I don't know if we're looking for anything out of team selects anymore. D-Rob is back. That's the first thing we pull. That's right. That is also a reason why I didn't want to pull pitchers this year because um, the the potential dupe chances for pitchers, despite the fact that we lost Miller, actually seemingly went up. I mean, I could pull D-Rob... I'm terrified of pulling D-Rob because it would essentially be like I have to rethink my my pitcher chemistry guy. So that's why I'm kind of afraid to pull D-Rob at this point in time. So that's kind of what scared me away. And also the fact that I need a first baseman. That's like the number one thing that's like keeping me right now. Uh, Chris Giddens is not in the Major League Baseball anymore. He is in Japan right now. I don't know why you're still giving me Chris Giddens cards, but fine. But that's what we need. We, we desperately need to fill that first baseman slot on our roster. But it would be nice if we could um, get a couple more relief pitchers now. Especially with a 26th man. So, oh, my monitor just turned off on me. That terrified me. I thought my power went out. And I'm like, oh my god. Please come back, monitor. Thank you. Okay. I, it just put the it put the fear into me all of a sudden. My heart sank. I thought I lost my recording. It would just be the voice recording, so you'd just be left with a really awful quality from my phone. But still, that would be less than ideal. Curse Granderson. I'm also still waiting for Adam Warren to come back as well. He got a sig with us and then was basically immediately removed from the game. Because he was, um, I think it was DFA'd, or he was a waiver claim or something like that. I think it was DFA'd. He just never came back. But um, he's he's in our minor league, I believe. I'm just waiting for him to come back to get a, his sig back. That would be another option. I pulled every Yankee player I want to keep my eyes on this year. Let's pull the alts. Got a diamond at least out of that. Let's go, baby. I got a diamond out of that. Nice. Sick game. I can't. There it is. Oh, nice. The fool's gold skills. Nice. Sick. I probably could have pulled the other two, but I didn't. Totally forgot. Slipped my mind. All right, then. So, I guess that would put Castro on the bench, although I will probably need to keep Kano on the bench for a while or in my inventory for a while until we can run skill changes on him. Because I I would want to train him up as a silver. Uh, I'm not too concerned about hitting BIU on him. It's different with pitchers. With pitchers, I want to GI them first to get an idea of what skills they will have, like finesse and dom. With batters, I don't really care that much. Um, it's not really that big of a deal. Especially once you get them to Black Diamond, it doesn't really matter that much. 97.3, let's get him almost all the way there, and then we'll remove a player, and then we'll open up a couple basic packs, and then we'll be left with some gold players for next week, or some Spectrum material for Kano when I GI him. So let's open up some basics. We got a couple basics. We got some AL basic batter packs from, from arcade mode. Not like we ever need those anyway, so let's see if we can get him the last tenth of a percent. Nice, there's only three cards. Sick. And he's done seven to eight. And then let's go run some premium skill change tickets on 
Mr. Oh, let's open up the rest of the packs first. See what we get. Live season alt packs. Trevor Bauer card. Mike Trout, 22, and that's a nice card. If he can stay healthy, that will be an absolutely sick card. Let's see, we get a Yankee from a Diamond Pack. Been a while since we've seen a Yankee from a Diamond Pack. I didn't mean to do that. Although that looked really cool, though. Live season Diamond Pack. Did I really get one of these from League this week? That's crazy. I almost never pull live season Diamond Packs anymore. Garrett Cooper, ex-Yankee, Yankee legend Garrett Cooper. He's a DH now, sick. All right, so let's go. Uh, I'm really tempted to open up my premium vintage packs and see what we get and then run skill changes. So let's do that real quick because I want, I've want. i got like two weeks of premium vintage packs here that I want to pull. Nice, I got a silver. That's cool. And then eight premium vintage packs. Let's get it. All silvers. Nice. Oh, Willie Randolph. Nice. I got a Yankee. That's actually um, a Yankee vintage I do not have. So I might save him. Because I save all the vintages, especially the team vintages. So I'll save Willie Randolph. See, like, this is a problem I was talking about in terms of second base upgrades. It's like, if you compare Willie Randolph to, like, Cano. Both play second base. But, like, look at the stats. Look at how much, like... Cano's power is 10 higher, his contact's higher, his feeling's pretty good too. The speed doesn't matter. Willie Randolph does have better eye, obviously. That's He's got top-tier eye, but I don't really... I want power on my batters, you know? Alright, so that's going to be that for now. I don't think I've got any of those. I'm using the OVR amp on... What's-his-face? Mickey Mantle. Let's see if we can get him to 75. He got to 73 on his first GI. Like, on the GI, he went to 73. So, that was pretty good. 74. One extra contact. Nice. Okay, so that means the next one should potentially be power. That'd be pretty That'd be pretty sick. Alright, let's go and run some of our premium skill changes on Mantle, and let's see if we can get our DH... DHing. I, owed up, I opened up his second slot, didn't get anything out of it, so... That's a good start. I mean, that's like decent skills to begin with. I, I wish he didn't have... I wish that he didn't have um, Laser Beam as the third, but that's... Spot Charisma can be halfway decent, although not ideal. Let's just open up a second slot. Let's open do the second slot, just in case we need to save him. I don't know. I actually got one of these from the Legend event. Uh, I'm not planning on, on buying any of the Legends from the Legend event. I'm just going to end up buying... The items from the shop, I'm not even going to bother buying a Legend cards. Or the um, the Vintage cards, because I don't need them. I got the Babe Ruth. That was weird. I'm used to seeing the gold in the top slot. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. That's like the first thing he ended up with. That's like his first skill slot, I swear. That was his first skill slot. Man. Okay. So he's got Spot Charisma in the first slot. Since we're running um, premiums on him, I don't think I want to use Legend skills on him. I mean, um, Reg skill changes on him right now. Um, probably want to run skill changes on Tino and see if I can get something good on Tino. Because if I'm going to re be replacing Castro, then I don't really want to mess with. Um, don't really want to mess with him. So let's go swap out uh, Tino's skill set. I got, I got triple threes, but he'll never hit BIU, so I didn't want to use that skill set anyway. And we'll run... I got 38 skill changes to run on him, so let's see what we get. I'm intrigued, so... Yeah. I mean, it's a shame that I'm not going to be able to use those skills on him, but, I mean, I'm not going to be using blues on a reg non-sig. Uh, I promise, eventually, we will get a sig first baseman, so I'm not too concerned about... Saving him for blue. Another triple three right there. My priorities have changed from when I last skill changed him. So I'm not too concerned. Reliable Pred. Haven't even seen anything I want to even consider yet. Haven't even seen. That's like a halfway decent skill change. Pred spot RBI machine level three. Again, not using blues on him. Triple bronzes. Not using triple, not using blues on a regular non-sig. Hard pass. 
Slugger Instinct, Spotlight, again, I don't think that's better. It's high home runs, low average. I don't think it's better than what he's got right now. No, that'd be good if it was a different different third. Spot Ace, BM. No, Spot Ace, Spot Legend, BM. Triple triple Golds, but not, not great. Come on, baby. I'm getting a lot of triple golds all of a sudden. Man, do these do these skill changes get upgraded to be like fool's gold status instead of just not giving me anything? It's so weird. Looking looking decent there. Again, BIU. I don't think he'll ever hit BIU. So BIU would have to be a third, essentially. That looks pretty decent. That's not ideal, though. Triple threes? No, I thought Batting Machine was a three. Table set, reliable, charisma, no. That's like two threes and a, and a one. Yes, laser beam on a first baseman is a good meme. Laser beam on a first baseman. Alright, five left. I'm probably going to roll those skills on Mantle for now and then just hold up and then see if I can get him in the lineup. S-I-B-I-U. It's a whole lot of meh going on right now. I want those triple skills. Yeah, laser beam. Laser beam. Laser beam funny meme. Laser beam funny meme. Let's go switch. Let's go switch Tino back. Oops. Wait a minute. What? Is that a glitch? Hold on a second. I have no skill changes left. That has to be a glitch, right? That has to be a glitch. Did I just break the game? Hold on a second. Oh, I was hoping. I was hoping. I was like, oh, baby, we broke the game. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Got baited by the game. Game knows better. The game knows better, unfortunately. It actually checked my inventory. Man. All right, well, let's see where we're going with Mantle here. Let's change him back. Spot Charisma. Should be pretty decent for the time being. What's his third one? Is is that... What's his third? Laser Beam. That's funny. He's a DH. Oh, well. That's going to be it for me for today, you guys. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you guys had some good luck with your Team Select Six. I've, I'm clearly happy. Oh, funny story before I end the video. I was uh, I did my my box last week. I thought I got two league ball recharge tickets. No, they were they were arcade ball recharge tickets. I was just being a fool. I didn't notice. Oh, I'm so upset. Anyway, that's gonna be it for me for today, you guys. I don't know. I'm a complete moron. Believe me. I was half asleep probably when I opened that package up. But that's gonna be it for me for today, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Good luck with your polls and peace.